Hello and welcome back to the Building with AppSheet series. My name is Pooja Jain. I'm a Google Workspace customer engineer. And in this episode, we will talk about the AppSheet sharing and deployment features. So let's dive in. AppSheet's sharing and deployment features work together and allow you to share an app with both co-authors and early users, as well as share the app more broadly via the deployment feature with multiple end users when the development is complete. Here's a breakdown of the steps involved in sharing and deploying your app to the users. The first step comes during early development of the app where you can share development responsibilities with co-authors. Additionally, you can also share the app as is to early users or testers to get initial feedback. As the app is nearing completion, you can run the deployment check utility where it will generate a report on the overall state of the app. Once the deployment check is complete and all the errors and warnings have been addressed, you can then switch the deployment status to deployed where you can then share the app more broadly with all the designated end users. Let's dive into all of these capabilities through a demo. I will walk through the steps on how to share and deploy the app. So let's take an example of an app that I would like to share with a particular user. In this case, I have an application called Task Manager that I would like to share with a user so they can co-edit the application with me. The sharing button is available at the top right of the screen. I can go ahead and share this particular application with the user by entering their email address. I can specify here the level of permission I would like to give this user. They can simply use the application by viewing this in their browser or their phone or view the behind the scenes application configuration or edit the application with me. In this case, I would like to make them a co-author, so I am giving them edit the definition permission. I can also assign them as an admin so that they can control the backend statistics or the usage, but in this case, I would like to give the user access. The app version also can be shared, for example, the latest or the most uh, updated version. In this case, I'm gonna keep that as default, which is the latest version as well. AppSheet gives you an automated pre-fill template that's going to be shared with the user who is invited, but you can go ahead and also change or customize that. I'm going to go ahead and share this invite with the invited user. All right, now the user receives that email that was sent out in the invitation from the AppSheet. So I'm logged in as that user right now. You can see that domain here. So I'm going to click and go ahead and check how the email looks like with the invitation. So there are two options, either I can just install the task manager, that's the name of the application, and that opens up as a separate application in the browser where you can play around and see what the application does. Or in this case, since I made this particular user as a co-author, I can go ahead and actually edit the application. So this opens up the edit view inside the browser and I can go ahead and make changes to the application as needed. Now say I've made some edits to the application and I would like to notify the end users about it. Broadcast notification, which is under the deploy tab, can easily let us do so. I can go ahead and describe the changes in a few words. For example, the task has been updated. Specify a few words in the body of the text as well. And give a link to a specific section in the application or to a specific link to a view. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and insert that link inside the notification and send it out. This will notify the users on their mobile device. Now the application has been edited now to deploy it. We can run the deployment check, which gives us results about whether or not the app is ready to be deployed. Everything has come out in green with a few warnings, which are pretty trivial and can be easily solved. We can move the app to the deploy state by clicking on this button. Note that this can easily be reverted back to the prototype state if needed. Now that the app has been deployed, I could go ahead and run a few more services. For example, I could brand this app for iTunes and Google Play Store. There are guided steps for both Android and iOS in order to do that. And then finally, there are monitor features. So I can see the usage statistics or I can have an admin run through and browse through all those 
statistics as well there's also an audit history so i can launch a log analyzer and walk through the report here and finally there is performance analyzer as well which i can launch from this particular tab this will give me a report on the overall performance of the application based off of all the events inside the app there is additional analytics and filtering that you could use but you would need a corporate plan to do that this concludes the intro to sharing and deployment episode for more info on AppSheet, google cloud or google workspace check out the links in the description below and for more videos like this make sure you subscribe to this series so you don't miss out thanks for watching